Good morning, everyone from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We are here chilling out at the Royal Enfield headquarters. Everyone's put together a great ride uh, for a couple of days so we can check out these new Scram 411s. We all know that they're based on the Royal Enfield Himalayan, the 19 inch front wheel, and they're going to be available extremely soon at the dealers and uh, at an amazing price of only about $5,099. But what we want to do is see how they ride. So we're going to helmet up, get in the saddle, and I'll give you more information. All right, everyone. We've had a little bit of chance to spend some time in the saddle. Did a lot of pavement on the twisties. Let me give you some impressions. First, let's go over some of the changes. One of the changes is that we have lost the 21 inch front wheel and been reduced down to a 19. This is by far the biggest change. And the object of this is to make it more sporty uh, in, in a sense and make it balance differently to favor a little more fun on pavement and twisty roads, which I think is a great idea. So I'm very happy to see a 1719 version of the Himalayan because it does make it sporty. And the suspension that is you know, kind of similar to the Himalayan, which is cool because it is actually firm enough, even for me at over 200 pounds, uh, it really soaks up the bumps out here on these gravel roads, no problem. And again, this is really more biased towards someone that wants to spend more time on the pavement and the twisties. But at the same time, if you see a fire road or something like that, you have no problem doing that on the Scram 411. Another big change is the saddle. Now the saddle got wider, a little bit wider than on the Himalayan. It went from a two-piece seat to a one-piece. They did some hotspot mappings on the current saddle, figured out where they needed to put the cushioning, and they also made the seating area a little larger, which is fantastic, especially for taller, larger riders. Another important change is these gauges right here. So the Himalayan had a big old gauge cluster, and it gave you a ton of information. You don't get as much information on this. One notable thing that's missing is the tack. And there are no buttons on this thing. Over here on the right-hand side, uh, there's a trigger button on the control switch in front of the emergency cutoff, and that's how you change your trip A, B, Odo, and reset. You know, the idea is to simplify this and really make it more of a scrambler that comes from a dirt side rather than a street side. The bike is coming in seven different colorways. To be honest with you, <laughs> there's so many of them, they slip my mind right now, but I encourage everyone to go to the website and check out the variety of them because I don't think there's any other manufacturer that offers seven different color options on any of their bikes. Darlene Folk designed some bikes from other brands which you may be familiar with. She's really knocked some of these designs out of the park on the Scram. She's a real passionate person. She's a rider herself. She's out here riding with us as well. And maybe we can hear something from Darlene Folk. My name is Darlene Vogel and I'm taking care of everything what is color driven graphics at Royal Enfield for all the model lineups. My favorite part about designing motorcycles is actually the fun that it and joy it brings. Not just for myself, it's also when you see a product on the market, like how the customer reacts to it, the entire process with it and obviously doing something outstanding on the market and it's it's just pure joy. The most challenging part in doing color driven graphics for motorcycles is you have to predict the trend. Um, you have to have so many different kind of people out there and really figuring something out that everyone likes is a really hard thing to do. But it's also kind of the challenge and the, the fun part of the challenge because you realize, well, we're gonna try this now and we are kind of sure it will pick up and people look so different the other brand and it's, it's brilliant, it's fun. Getting into riding motorcycles is one of the best things in life it's like if you if you want to enjoy if you want to take a lot of things in um, be be out there motorcycling is the best thing to do so that pretty much wraps up some of the major changes on the bike and in summary what do I think about it well everyone knows I love the Himalayan and I love the Himalayan platform uh, I do believe that in a way, even though it's hard to call these things early, 
it will be a modern classic. There's really nothing like it. Uh, it. The spectrum of riders that ride the bike are extremely wide. As far as age range and backgrounds and types of riding and where they're coming from riding, it's really just a fantastic bargain in an all-round bike that will pretty much take you anywhere, whether you are just getting into riding, just getting back into riding, are looking to test out a different type or style of riding for yourself without having to break the bank. And yeah, all in all, what do I think about it? I think it's a fantastic adaptation of the Himalayan and to an even more friendly and appealing bike to a larger spectrum of riders. It still keeps the Himalayan DNA in terms of being off-road capable, but now it's sportier and more street friendly, and I think that that's going to work great for the Himalayan Scram 411. Uh, the only thing missing now is to check it out for yourself if this is the kind of bike that interests you. There are dealers around, and these will be available in showroom floors um, shortly after this junket. So we're talking about in September. Um, and uh, again, at the price of $5,099, it's really kind of a no-brainer for a lot of people uh, that would be interested in a bike like this. So this has been Carl Parker for ADV Moto. Thank you once again for coming along on the ride. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this little review. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, in the meantime, be sure to ride safe, have fun, and don't forget that the adventure is you, you, you.